Yo, what is good, you two? We are back at it again. It's Key versus the Stars. We on part three of Mike Tyson documentary, Baddest Man on the Planet. And like I said, bro, that second part, we just gonna jump right into it, man. Let's go. some power in the ring. What was that like to be the youngest heavyweight champion? Did you get to enjoy it? Or was it just pressure, leeches, trust problems, betrayal, that everything that came with money and success after yeah, that? Yeah, but I thought that's, was, that's what it was. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson, heavyweight champ of the world. Let's talk boxing. All great champions have okay, their Mike? fans. Help me help you. Iron Man. <laughs> say, say no to drugs. But very few have been cheered and loved like this one. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out hey. Nintendo. Hey, I remember, hey, I remember Mike Tyson Punch-Out. I think I played this, like, f after, like, far long after it came out. Maybe a couple years after. But, man, this game was hard as shit, bro. Hard as fuck. The world media has descended on Las Vegas again. And one of them will leave the ring with the WBC and the WBA titles. Astronomers have recently discovered a rare supernova. An exploding star. Mike Tyson is boxing's supernova. A force of nature who has exploded on all of us. Already strapped, Tyson Ooh, now Mike. to unify the heavyweight titles. Another big left hand. Thomas is hurt. Okay. Boy. He like, he's here in round six, though. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Come on, Thomas. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> oh. You got a duck or something. And down he goes. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of ten. I think he's going to be heavyweight champion for a very long, long time. A man with a chance on August 1 to unify the championship in the eyes of all three existing governing bodies. One man will climb out of this 20-foot square with the undisputed title for the it's first be time Mike. We already since know that. February 15, 1978. Tyson aimed to unify all three heavyweight titles. Yeah. Mike Tyson entertains the public. When he enters the arena, it's the same feeling people get if they're going to watch a picture like Jaws. They know they're going to be shocked, entertained, amazed, but affected emotionally. He looked terrified. Boy, get up! Oh, he gave up. That's selfish shit. Tyson had become the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 10 years how many people could handle that too i mean the money the fame at that age you're the champion the baddest man alive for the holmes fight mike was going with three girls who seemed to be semi-serious about three women this was miss america robin oh. and a very gorgeous model larry holmes had famously beaten muhammad ali hold down. on hold on hold on hold on he was with robin Givens, naomi campbell and who and some other chick Mike, Mike had the hose, boy. Mike had the hose. Custy Amato took the Holmes beating of Ali so personal, he called Ali the day after to complain about it. The next morning, Custy's on the phone with Muhammad Ali. How do you let that bum hit on you, Jeb Ali? How do you the bum? Why you let that bum beat on you? Know, Custy, he's no one's oh. getting sensitive, you know, emotional. Why is the bum? And he was saying, but I said, when I get big, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him for you. I'm gonna revenge you. I'm gonna father some stupid. I'm gonna restore your honor. And then January 22nd, I'm fighting him. And then Ali comes into the ring and says, Get him for me. Mm. When Tyson okay. was in his prime as a knockout artist, he was so lethal. Woo, Mike! There had never been a heavyweight like him before. Oh, a big right hand! And down goes the former champion. 17 seconds. He may be able to get by the ring. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand. Ooh. 
Ooh. Get him for me. There you go. Oh, he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the car. Tyson with Mary <laughs> Robin Gibbons following the fight. Got to marry some people from during my attic stage. And uh... <laughs> once Mike got married, uh, Robin uh, Gibbons and Ruth, of course, were very interested in taking over Mike's career. They moved into a grand New Jersey mansion. But as soon as she got married, she called up and said, she's Mrs. Mike Tyson. I'm taking over. I want to see all the books and all the records. The ink what? wasn't dry on their marriage license before she hit the bank. It was reported to us here in New York that Robin and Ruth were at the bank already claiming Mike's account. And Givens began pushing Mike to manage himself, which meant Robin would manage him. Oh, hell two no. hours of the champions Come on, here, Mike. Tyson mania was in full cry. Come on, Mike. Don't tell me you let this bar take over the finances. Tyson headed to Japan to face Tony Tubbs. Mike Tyson no Giant. He is a symbol of the Tyson Giant. Tyson Giant. Tyson Giant. Tyson Now that I'm married, I no longer spend my wealth. My wife spends all my wealth. Mm. The new bride's arrival only added more fuel to what was already the hottest story in town. Tyson spent more time touring the country with Givens than he did training. Mike Tyson fight as Come Mrs. On. Champion. <laughs> Robin, uh, inquiring minds want to know, how does a woman who went to Sarah Lawrence and Harvard Medical School wind up falling in love with a guy who's a graduate of the School of Hard Knocks? God, I want to know, too. There's something, we have a lot in common, uh, tradition, traditional families, and, and we just sort of love each other. I'm, I'm not from there. I'm from, I'm from the ghetto. I'm from the dirt, hard bone, mm. segregated ghetto. That's where I'm from. There's something, we have a lot in common, uh, tradition, traditional families. Traditional families? Tyson again. There are people in this world, and she is one of them, who will take advantage of any fucking body they have a mind that can manipulate the strongest of people you have to learn to stay away from these people they call them sociopaths whatever the fuck they want to call them bro there are people in this world who will take advantage of you when anything you love or care about you gotta watch out for them. loaded on the scene in japan swarmed by adoring fans he was treated like a fabled warrior from some ancient of course, time. If you have seen Tyson before, you are aware of what is called the gladiator look. No robe, no towels, no socks, just the black trunks, the boots, and the 10 ounce Everlast gloves. He brings a professional record of 33 victories without a loss, 29 KOs and 15 in the first round alone. For the first time since Mike's been fighting as a professional, the other co-manager, Jim Jacobs, has not been able to make this trip. Tyson's mm. head movement was eroding, becoming less and less effective. But Tyson is now being hit, isn't he? Whereas in his early fights, he was One minute to go in round one. Tubbs landed a left. Mike. Cuss recognized early on the importance of Tyson staying very active. The concept behind yeah. Mike fighting every two weeks was Cuss But money and the influences of Don King and Robin Givens have oh altered God. the way Mike approached his career. 30 seconds left in the round. Both fighters have had their say here. Mm. Tubbs is hurt. Tubbs is hurt badly. And the fans are enjoying. They show their appreciation here. Mike over here falling. Mike falling apart, bro. This, this is, is sad. This is first fight as a newlywed. Were you thinking about that at all? Did you want to put on a special performance in any way? Not at all, because when I'm in the ring, I'm objective, tunnel vision. And it's just, this is my world in here. In 1988, Jim mm. Jacobs passed away. Funeral services were held at Hillside Memorial what? Center for boxing manager Jimmy Jacobs. Manager Jim Jacobs died oh. in 1988. Tyson had lost his second surrogate father. With no love in your life no until love you're in 13. Your life. And then you come into all of this money because you're the best fighter in the world. That created the opportunity for uh, Don King to move in on a confused 21-year-old kid. 
Before Jacobs was buried, Don King made his move. The boxing complex of promoter Don King has become a home away from home for heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Now in the picture were a wife, a mother-in-law, promoter, and advisor. Who Tyson's the fuck is all these was the most anticipated heavyweight Bro. fight. Who is all these? Where they all come from, Mike? Come on, Mike. You had to know they was up to... God damn, man. In this is the most painful one so far. Because it's like... So popular... Nothing was going to stop him from being great, bro, but he just, Robin God, Robin so Tyson young, fam. A lawsuit against Bill Caton. He was in the, the mix with Givens. Don King is trying to pull him away from Caton. King used the media to insinuate Caton was stealing from Tyson. Wow. Ironic, since King would go on to steal over $100 million from Ugh. Tyson. Green That's reaches out the deepest crazy. core of people. It's reaches deep at them, and they're fighting for me and stuff and all that crap. And then that made it easy for Don King to sneak in, and he used, um, he got me good. So I'm in the dressing room with Tyson, and I'm looking to rattle this guy. The manager of Michael Spinks, who went wild after he discovered that Mike Tyson had had his hands taped. Spinks' manager got cute before the fight and forced Tyson to rewrap his hands to try and throw him off. Tyson began putting his fists through walls in anger. And he's punching. He's punching holes in the wall. The sound prompted Spinks to investigate. Oh, no. This guy's getting ready to fight my guy, my little guy. The undefeated man who brings the drinks, Michael. As always, no shirt, no robe, no accoutrement. The life that he lived back then was unmanageable. He was the king of the world. He was in his 20s. He was buck wild, just going crazy, flatlining people. Everywhere he went, people would throw rose petals at his feet and screaming, cheering fans. A record of 34 and 0. And that doesn't count his recent bouts with his wife and his manager. That night, Tyson was as good as any fighter has ever been when they got in that ring. There's something where you attain its heights and you just, you just don't do it again. But that night, he reached his, his peak. It was the most awesome heavyweight fight I ever saw in my life. Oh! Uppercut oh, landed inside and Spinks went down. That night, Tyson was as good as any heavyweight has ever been. Mm. Damn, Mike. As good as Mike was, bro, I feel like he should have been good for a very long time, and he wasn't, bro. This is so sad to watch. Like, y'all don't understand how sad this is to watch, bro. Mike, when he won that title, he had all the titles, and he had, he had, he was married to Robin Gibbons, and at 20 fucking one. Everything went All right. south. As far as my career, you know what I mean? There's no fighter like me. I was reading today, there was some fighters in the papers quoting, I don't like Mike Tyson because he's too cocky and he's arrogant. But for all the fighters that said that, you know what I mean? I let them know, there's no fighter like me and I can beat any man in the world. Bill Caton managed Tyson's career from the beginning, but was forced out of his job the night of the Sphinx fight. Tyson fired wow. Bill Caton turning to Don King for management and promotion. He changed entirely his marriage and Don King changed him into a different person. After his marriage to Robin Givens and his association with Don King, Tyson's life seemed to unravel lawsuits, car accidents, and domestic brawl. After the Spinks fight, Tyson went into a downward spiral of legal troubles and financial issues. Stormy summer of 88. The broken hand against Mitch Green. Mitch Green threw the first blow. He punched him in the chest, uh, right around you know this area right here. Green suffered an injury to his eye. Well, Tyson so had hairline fracture to his right hand, and who knows how much damage to his reputation. Early this morning, Tyson was expected to appear at New York's 25th Precinct. He wrecked his car after a reported heated argument with Robin Givens. My belief, Mike really turned into the Mike we know today, as his marriage to Robin Givens came apart, so did he.
In a nationally televised interview, Robin God Gibbons told damn. Barbara Walters that Tyson was a manic depressive. He gets out of control, um, throwing, screaming. A charge that would later prove groundless. He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. But when I look back at it now, I can't believe I said what? anything. Robin Givens divorced him. Their marriage lasted eight months. She took his house, ten million dollars, and Brad Pitt. So she brought a guy home. What? See her. You want to know who it is? Brad Pitt. Nigga. Nigga, what? No, 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 fam. This bitch ruined his life and then let Brad Pitt smack later? Come. Smoking a joint. Woo. Drinking something because he was real close to me in the car and he had no idea. He didn't see me. But then when he got out the car, he saw me. Oh, sh And um, I lost a lot of money. I kept getting lawsuits. I had lawsuits this, lawsuit here, lawsuit here. And most of my money I've tricked off on lawsuits. If I wow. spent $250 million on girls and trips and clothes, that's nothing to what I did on lawsuits, okay? I, it's, not, it's not a question that I stood up for Bill Caton. I stood up for what was right, for, for what Cuss had started. Longtime trainer for Kevin real. Rooney protested. So Tyson? Fired Rooney too. Come, my wonderful trainer for him. Kevin Rooney loved him, uh, but Don King made him fire Kevin Rooney. And I think the day Tyson fired Kevin Rooney, no, so the cat put on Mike Tyson's development as a fighter. Rooney had trained Tyson from 1982 to 1988. The final strings to Castiamato were severed. It was now the Don King show. So suddenly there was a whole new cast of characters around the night. And I think that Kevin really oh, didn't no. fit into the picture. Tyson came out firing in his first fight without Kevin Rooney. Yes, that's the, the new uh, executive trainer in charge of the team. He was really imposed on uh, Tyson. Tyson didn't want him, but uh, finally he what? agreed to accept him. While his Hold on, fam. You, as a, as a world-class fucking fighter, you cannot tell me who my trainer gonna be, fam. Like, I'm, I'm the world champion. I'm picking my own fucking trainer, fam. Mike, man, God, this is... God, this is making me angry, fam. Y'all don't understand how angry this is. Ugh. Power was still there. His head movement was still slowing. He stopped moving his head. He started to jab less. Oh, lovely left hook from Bruno. Cracking punch. Under Don King, his boxing technique began to decline and erode. His skills were eroding. Less lateral movement began to expose him to more headshots. He can't survive it. Terry Lawrence is in with the towel. It must be all over. The best champion the world has seen for some time. How did not challenge me with it? Somewhat prim primitive skills. They're just as good as dead. Mike Tyson is the most famous athlete in the world. Fame has even followed Tyson across the sea to Japan. Tyson's in Japan to defend his heavyweight boxing title against James Buster Douglas. Rumors swirled about Tyson skipping gym time. After my divorce from Robin, um, I left a lot of design in my fighting and stuff. Matter of fact, I was training and I'm on my spawn partners dropped me. Before the fight, rumors had swirled oh. about Tyson's mental and physical state. He'd been knocked down and sparred. I had a few fights. Tyson got down. Um, with lesser opponents and I was successful. Without training hard at all, mainly for the fight. And so I didn't take Buster seriously. There was no longer any voice in his life that would dare speak against yeah, him. Right. So I went to Japan, hanging out with a lot of women, had women in my room. Bobby Brown said that Mike Tyson and I were in Japan. We basically stayed up all night partying with 12 Japanese girls. I kept telling really? Mike, you need to go to sleep and He's get some lying. sleep. Stop <laughs> lying, Stop lying, Bob. He on, said, you need to get some yeah, sleep right. for the fight tomorrow. Bobby. He said, then you told Bobby, listen, I'm not no amateur. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I did talk that shit. Right. Yeah, Nobody yeah. could beat me. I, I got this. I go to bed whenever <laughs> I got to go to bed. Right. <laughs> By this time, Tyson was alone. 
No wife, no family, no real friends. Well, in the important game of expectations, this fight is over before it begins or soon thereafter. It's a, it's a tragic story, but it's also like there's so many lessons in that story. It's like for all of us, Joe it's Rogan like is there's a lot right to now. learn, you know, the, what happened when it got all the way to Buster Douglas, when it was like he thought, felt like he can't lose. Please welcome the challenger, James Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas always had a tremendous amount of talent, but he never totally put it together. But then his mom died and he decided he was gonna Mike Tyson up for his mother. So it was a perfect storm of Mike Tyson being king of the world, doesn't even feel like he has to train anymore. And all along the way, Buster Douglas for that fight trained mm. like a demon. He was 37 and 0 at that particular moment in time. He was fierce, he was menacing. You begin to file through your memory for the biggest upset in heavyweight championship fight history. Douglas insists that he's going to shock the world in this fight. If he should upset Mike, Mike Tyson, it would make out. the shocks in Eastern Europe seem like local ward politics. Mm -hmm. Yep. Another right hand lead by Douglas. Like when you're fighting at the real top level of a sport, you know, if you start missing training, start taking drugs, start sleeping around. Absorb that kind of a four or five punch combination. Yep. His training team was so inept, they had forgotten one of the most standard pieces of equipment, an end swell. And he has swelled up wow. Mike Tyson's eye and is dominating the fight right now. Well, and of course, that infamous uh, corner treatment that he got in Tokyo, Tyson because when you knock him down, I think in the eighth round, and he got like a, a very long count. The referee gave him extra couple seconds to recover that he shouldn't have. And there's a right hand <laughs> uppercut, and down goes Douglas. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. You're out, Buster. No, he's out. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck. You not finna sit here and tell me that they gave him a fucking an illegal count and that's how he won that fight? I'm I'm hot, bro. I'm hot. I'm hot. I got a lot to say. I can't wait till this is over so I can I can get my shit off, bro. I got a lot to say, man. I have a lot to say. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And he remains dedicated and interested and without any distractions, I believe that he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion. First down goes Tyson. What I took from it is that it was the beginning of the end mm -hmm. of Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson that we knew. All right, so that was part three. Mike Tyson, baddest man on the planet. We got part four coming tomorrow, as y'all know, these are coming sequentially. Um, I, like I said, I'm not going to get into how I feel about this until the very end. So I hope y'all watch all the videos. This has been Keep versus the Stars. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell. I'll share the video if you like. And we are out. Peace.